you can't see me and we can't see Chelsea because it is absolutely unrecognizable. I can go whistle the whole uh, video here. But right now, that's not the benefit. I want to give my views on what's going wrong with Chelsea. The five things learned. But I'm feeling numb, broken, sitting inside. And I can come here like some people are saying, Coach, what's happening? Don't bully out. But I'm not going to do that because the problem are deeper. But I know the times are good. I'm fully going to back Coach. But I think the blame that he's getting is rightfully there. And he has to do better, which I'll discuss in the video. So do hit the like and subscribe. It really mean a lot. And guys, let's together uh, see what's going on. And I'll discuss my one. Do let me know in the comments what things you learned from this game. And again, guys, it was a 1 0 loss to Nottingham Forest. Former Manchester United player Anthony Ilanga coming there, scoring the goal from the counter attack. And as always, we could play 180 minutes, 270 minutes, 360 minutes. I can sleep the whole day, I can uh, wake up another day, brush my teeth, and Chelsea still wouldn't damn score a goal because that is the reality with Chelsea. We could just can't uh, damn score a goal. My life will depend on it. I will bet Chelsea to save it and it won't because we damn can't score a goal. And if there is a competition where you uh, uh, do not have to put the football in the net, Chelsea will always win the Premier League because we just can't score goals. We right now in the league have created with the most chances along with bright turns and other top teams, but just we can't score the goals. So now coming on to the first thing, guys, I learned in this game, and the first thing I'm saying is stop this Ben Chilwell damn experiment at left wing, guys. He's a left back for God's sake. The guy is not a winger, Poch. We were playing so well in preseason, bro. We were playing so well in the preseason. I don't know why you have shifted that man. Poch, I love you. I really love you. I know you can do a great job. And you are the person I really wanted at this club. But I don't know why in the world are you playing Ben Chilwell at the left wing. When we have got Mikaela Mudrik. When we can play another winger there. Even in Raheem Sterling if he was playing so well at the right. And Shiv Palmer there. But this is ridiculous experiment which is wasting Ben Chilwell. And the fans are going after him rightfully but again he's not a left finger and the whole setup of the team is getting destroyed in the preseason as well you were trying to do it sometimes but once we put Mudrik there with Jackson the combination was good and please Poch stop this we have two wingers and I know you might not trust uh, Makala Mudrik the guy still is very raw but that is still better to put a person that knows how to play this position rather than Ben Chilwell the guy who's not threatening doesn't provide width and he's not a natural left back uh, left finger sorry he's a natural left back or a left wing back and this damn experiment has to stop by uh, Mauricio Pochettino. Otherwise, it's only going to get worse before it gets better. We already can't score goals. And playing a left finger there is the last thing we need. The second thing I learned in this match is we miss uh, Nkuku. And I think nothing shows more than this game. Because if Nkuku is there, we beat Nottingham Forest. I'm absolutely sure of that. In the preseason, Nkuku was a big part of it. Not just with goals and assists, but in a combination play in the way we were building up. But now he's out for four months. And again, you cannot make excuses on just one or two injuries. We are Chelsea FC. And when you're at the top level, you cannot make excuses. We still have top players. We have spent 60 million on Makala Mudrik with no add-ons included right now. That depends on us winning the Champions League, Premier League, and whatever. But use that player. Poch is a player that is uh, known for developing youngsters. Why is he not trusting Mudrik? It cannot go worse. Playing Mudrik will lose to Nottingham Forest, not playing him lose to Nottingham Forest. But at least we can see the guy what he can do in that position. So again, I don't know the why manager is not doing this. And Kuku is a massive miss. But he comes back after four months. He will be without match fitness. So we have to bear the brunt of it. If making Nkuku means we are going to be 13 for in the league by January, then it's going to be a massive part of Pochettino and we know what Chelsea fans can be and that will be absolutely unbearable. The third thing in the game is I've been saying for a long time on this channel that we need to shift to a 4-3-3 and I will still stick by it, not 4-2-3-1. 4-3-3, that is the best formation for us to go with and there are reasons for that. And I think when Lavia comes back, that is a formation which can make us defensively stronger and attackingly good. I still uh, believe that for me, see, I love Thiago Silva. He is everything for me. Oh, Thiago Silva, I love him. But I think in a back four, not just Silva, I am even seeing Colville. I think it's not working right now for Chelsea. I think our back four is playing very high up the field. Sometimes Thiago Silva doesn't commit to his attacker. And that allows him to make the pass like Ilanga non-packed him and scored the goal. And that is something we really, really need to do better. And Thiago Silva is still one of the best defenders in the world. But that pace is not there when the attackers can go past him. For me, with playing Romeo Lavia, our defense will get a protection. And Caicedo can play a bit higher up the field. And Enzo can be near to Caicedo and near to uh, Lavia as well. Which can help us in build-up play. Yesterday, uh, sorry, on Saturday, our build 
defender play was not really great and Enzo Fernandez was very far up the pitch and even if he was really creative there was no build-up play from the back Caicedo had a very good first half but once he made the mistake he was not really good in the game and I think Caicedo and Gallagher right now has midfielders and have no understanding and I think Enzo there, Lavia there will provide that I think once Lavia comes back and can play 4-3-3 James and Chilwell can have the freedom to bomb forward and we still have Silva, Colwell, Lavia, Caicedo all four of them protecting the goalkeeper and the defence and I think that is the way to go for Pochettino until we get Nkuku back so I think this is the way for us to go because right now we are considering very poor goals three counter-attacking goals to West Ham now one goal against Nottingham Forest he could even have scored one more as well if they had better attacking instinct against Liverpool we easily on some other day could have been 2 nil down by first 25 minutes and even against Luton that was a very like a poor team right now in the league but even if they had the better quality they might have done something that day we are not really defending well right now and I think the goals or statistics might not show that but we are not defending well right now and coming on to the next one that is Jackson and I've been saying on this channel for a long time Nicholas Jackson is still very young as his fans we need to show him calm saying these things that Jackson is not good enough Jackson is not ready and blah blah he's not going to solve it if you were the guys who made him look like Diago Costa he scored some goals in pre-seasons and you were going over the top then it's your mistake and not the guy's mistake he's a youngster has fans we have to back this is why I don't understand why the fans they use a preseason and start treating a player like Messi, Ronaldo, Costa it takes time it takes patience our fans are the ones that if a player makes a damn mistake, he's a pathetic player. But if he scores a worldie, he's the best player in the world. I was again and again on my channel insisting that fans, we need to be calm. We need to give this youngsters time. Nicholas Jackson is a fantastic footballer. The hold up play he had against Nottingham Forest was beautiful absolutely beautiful but overall his finishing is still not on the level it has to be because the guy is still a very young player who did not even start so many matches for Villarreal he's right now at Premier League the toughest league in the world expecting him straight away to finish the chances be at the top is something ridiculous give the guy time give the guy patience because if you want him straight away to give us 25 league goals this season then it's not working and if you're so impatient then you're just going to destroy the future of this kid give him time even when Didier Drogba came here his first season was not the best these things takes time why has fans we don't understand that when Diego Costa came at Chelsea he was an experienced campaigner Nicholas Jackson is just a raw young guy right now with a lot of talent and let Posh dwell up and give the guy time and that brings me to the last thing and again I'll reiterate we are an under 23 team and that will take a lot of time if you see the team we played against Nottingham Forest, Gusto is a young player playing in this league for the first time. Sanchez is an experienced player but not as a top goalkeeper. You go at left and again Livy Colwell, a young player who hasn't even started so many matches for Brighton last season. Thiago Silva is an experienced pro but Desazi, even if he's 25 years of age, he is playing his like fourth Premier League game in his life and he has never played at a very very top level. Caicedo is just 21 and he was playing like his second full season in the Premier League. Enzo Fernandez is a World Cup winner but the guy is still so young and still a teenager in the way his age is in footballing worlds. You go to Conor Gallagher and he's still very young and he's only like have one or two years under his belt in the Premier League football. Not an experienced campaigner. You go towards our attacking options and you go towards right now in form of Raheem Sterling. That's the experienced player we have got. But Nicholas Jackson is young and raw. You go towards the left again and Ben Chiller is an experienced one but the guy is not a left wing. Cole Palmer is a player who has only played 4 five professional matches in Premier League in, for Manchester City in terms of experience. The team is just an under 23 teams and the subsidiary we have got are Noni Maduke, Mugdre and this is a young team. This is an under 23 team. If you don't want Pochettino, even Enrique can't make it work, Nagelsmann can't make it but Ancelotti can't make it work. These are young guys. You either have to buckle up and give them the patience or else it will only get worse. I am depressed, I am seething with the defeat but I think we have to understand the level we are at and right now this is not the Chelsea we are beating Nottingham Forest as a given. It is not and I think it will be better for us if we calm down, give the time. These are the 5 things I learned in this game. If you learned something in this game and you disagree with me, do let me know in the chat. Thank you, wishing you all the best. Up the Blues, I know we will be back. Thank you.